Hey, what's up everyone? If you're stumbling upon this video right now, I want you to think about when the food pyramid was introduced. Think about when, when it was taught in schools. Do you remember it being taught when you were in school? Because in the reality around us, most likely our parents, us, and everyone, I'll show you in a moment. The food pyramid was first created in what year? It was what year? And it was modified in which year? Because in the reality around us, it was created in 1992, and that's when it was introduced into schools. And it was updated in 2005, regardless of our... Well, actually, I was in school then. I was in school in... Uh, I was in school from 2000 to 2013. So I remember, I remember it regardless. But my mama remembers it being in her books as well. Uh, she said there's no other way around it. It's, that's the way it was, and that's that. That's final. That's her memory, and uh, I understand. So many people out there have a hard time wrapping their mind around this phenomenon, but they still know they're affected. They still know exactly what they remember. And that's her memory, that's my memory, that's our memories. It was taught, it was in the encyclopedias, it was in school, but way before 1992. Another recent Mandela effect I've talked about before is Grand Central Station. Well, in the reality around us, it's always been Grand Central Terminal. You might say, well, a terminal and a station are similar, th similar things. And yes, you are correct. They're one and the same, practically. But... So many people, there's even songs about it, shows, movies, parodies, all kinds of things about Grand Central Station. And now it's always just been Grand Central Terminal. Some might say, hey, maybe we're just mixing the names up, but I don't think so many people would have misspoke it. And it's the top search when you type in Grand Central, boom, station pops up. Terminal is nowhere to be seen. So give your thoughts on that one. This one's a shocker for me and many others out there. This particular Mandela effect is regarding Baloo from the Jungle Book. Many people, including myself, remember Baloo wearing coconut lips, a coconut bra, and a grass hula skirt. Now in the reality around us, you can check your VHSs, DVDs, Blu-rays, check it online, wherever, as you see here, no coconut bra, which makes no sense. Some people remember it, some people don't. I remember it, those around me remember it, many of you remember it, but some in the community who are affected don't have this memory. Give your thoughts on this. Now some try to say we're confusing it with this, but we're not confusing it with that. Some, try, some tried to rem remember that he had, he had a hat on that was a, uh, a fruit hat, but that was actually from Tailspin when Baloo was dancing on Tailspin. But that is not what we're confusing this with. This is a big one for me. I remember the first Pooh book being published in August of 1925. The reason why is because it resonated closely with me regarding my granny. Now this is a personal Mandela effect that no one else has reported on, but I thought that it would be nice to do so. My granny was born in August of 1925. So I specifically resonated with this particular Mandela effect for me. When I noticed, I asked Google, Alexa, and I asked several search engines when the first Pooh book was published by A.A. A. Milne. Turns out it was in, on October 14th, 1926, which was completely wrong for me. Another Mandela effect for me is the Harlem Globetrotters. I remember they were founded in 1925 not 1926, because that also resonated with me because the Globetrotters were on Scooby-Doo, and that was a fond memory of mine. I loved the Globetrotters because of that, and I found out that most things I was fond of started in 1925, and the Harlem Globetrotters had started in 25, now 26. So give your thoughts on this. What's your memory on that? I have a couple of no other new Mandela effects for you. These are personal Mandela effects for me. If you're familiar with animation, particularly Scooby-Doo, I always remember a dedication to Joe Ruby and Ken Spears. And I remember one day they stated rest in peace to Joe Ruby and Ken Spears because 
I remember Joe Ruby died and then Ken Spears died. And they both were dedicated to, and then from then on, they put at the end a special thanks to them on Scooby-Doo. Now Joe Ruby is is, uh, 86 years old, and Ken Spears is 81 years old. So give your thoughts on all these new Mandela effects for me. And as always, peace. My links are below if you'd like to support and help grow my channel. And if you'd like to leave a donation, feel free to do so, because without you, I cannot help this channel grow. So keep sharing Mandela effects, because there's obviously no shortage of them. Peace.